I apologize in advance if today's uh, episode, the quality isn't as good. Um, I'm doing kind of like a different setup today. You might be able to hear like some mouse clicking. And uh, and I'm not recording at the same time that I usually do. So it's, it's not nighttime. So you might be able to hear like dogs walking around or like birds tripping. Um, I'll try to make sure that you guys can't hear that stuff. But you know, my bad if you do. <laughs> but now that we get all that out of the way, um, today's episode is going to be on the Archean Eon which is the second geological eon of the evolution of Earth. So yeah, today's going to be a pretty cool episode. It talks about life and one of the first uh, ever mass extinctions called the oxygen catastrophe. So yeah, stick around. All right, welcome back to Den Line. I'm your host, Pete. And today we're going to be getting into the Archean Eon, a geological eon spanning 4 to 2.5 billion years, and it followed the Hadean Eon, which we did the last episode, and preceded the Proterozoic Eon, which is the next episode. In earlier literature, the Hadean Eon was actually included as part of this eon, the Archean. It comes from the ancient Greek word meaning ancient. In the Archean Eon, the Earth's crust had cooled enough to allow the formation of continents. The Archean Eon is split into four eras, the Eo, Paleo, Meso, and Neo-Archean eras. So today we're going to start with the first one, which is the Eo-Archean. It's the first era of the Archean Eon, of the geological record for which the Earth has a solid crust. It spans 400 million years from the end of the Hadean Eon, around 4 billion years to the start of the Paleo-Archean era 3,600 million years ago. A characteristic of the Eo-Archean is that the Earth possessed a firm crust for the first time. At this time, the atmosphere was without oxygen, but that doesn't stop our stubborn asses. The beginning of life on Earth has been dated to this era, and evidence of cyanobacteria date to 3,500 million years ago, just outside this era. And cyanobacteria is bacteria that obtain their energy through photosynthesis. They are the only photosynthetic prokaryotes able to produce oxygen. And prokaryotes are unicellular organisms that lack a membrane-bound nucleus mitochondria or any other membrane-bound organelle. So there are basically a bunch of uh, unicellular bacteria, and that's kind of the first life that was there. It was just, you know, a speck of bacteria. But only cyanobacteria produce oxygen through photosynthesis. And it's actually important in later eras going into the next eon. And then the next era of this eon is the Paleoarchean era. It spans from 3,600 to 3,200 million years ago. The oldest ascertained life form of fossilized bacteria and microbial mats, 3,480 million years old, is from this era. The first supercontinent linking Western Australia and Southern Africa, called Valbera, formed during this period. <laughs> Valbera sounds Tolkien-esque. Sounds like it's in like Lord of the Rings or something. During this era, a large asteroid belt collided with Earth in the area of South Africa about 3.26 billion years ago, creating the features known as the Barberton Greenstone Belt. The next one is the Mesoarchean era, which spanned 3,200 to 2,800 million years ago. And uh, to tell you the truth, I, I couldn't find any interesting events that happened during this era, at least that I, that I could find evidence for. So uh, basically, th this era kind of just sucks. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the Neoarchean era, which is the last era of the Archean Eon. And that spans from 2,800 to 2,500 million years ago. During this era, oxygenic photosynthesis first evolved, releasing an abundance of oxygen that first reacted with minerals and afterwards were free to react with greenhouse gases of the atmosphere, leaving Earth's surface free to radiate its energy to space. So the Earth is starting to build this oxygen atmosphere, and this is known as the oxygen catastrophe, which was to happen later in the Paleoproterozoic Eon, from poisonous buildup of oxygen in the atmosphere released by these oxygen-producing photoatrophs like the cyanobacteria, which uh, evolved earlier in this Neo-Archean era. Remember that only cyanobacteria produced oxygen, which means that to any other unicellular bacteria, which is 99% of the Earth at this time, this new oxygen atmosphere would be a, like a poisonous death trap, hence the name, the oxygen catastrophe. So basically, from the beginning of this uh, eon, there's these little unicellular life forms that breathe carbon and then this new one the cyanobacteria starts producing oxygen and that starts releasing out into the into the air and making not into the air but into the earth and making 
you know, it, it takes it gets rid of this greenhouse effect and makes an oxygen atmosphere, which just happens to be poisonous to every other life form on that Earth. So that's that's the reason that we have an oxygen atmosphere today, which made me kind of wonder, like, if we didn't have that, like, if that never happened, if we would all just be breathing carbon, like, I wonder how different we would be as people, or if we would even be allowed to exist. We'd probably be pretty different. I don't know. That that's just a what if, obviously that. There's no way anybody could know about that right now. Also, during this era, the supercontinent Kenorland, which is another fucking Tolkien-sounding one, formed about 2.7 million years ago. This giant landmass consisted of Laurentia, Baltica, Western Australia, and Caloria. Laurentia is now North America and Greenland, and Baltica is now the Baltic region in Scandinavia. So now we're starting to have um, a little bit more life and they're starting to, you know, change the atmosphere and kind of shape the earth the way that they want it, which will, it's good for us. I mean, that's, you know, without that, we wouldn't be alive right now. We'd have, earth or oxygen would have been poisonous to us. And then we're starting to have land masses, bigger land masses and super continents. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of this eon. And then the next one goes into the Protozoic eon, which is, uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cool. I haven't really looked into that one yet, but... But uh, I liked this one. I liked how we started learning more about Earth. And it is interesting to me that, like, the dinosaurs, uh, that was the asteroid that hit the Earth wiped out, like, 60% um, of the of the population. Like, just extinct the dinosaurs. It got all rid of all the population of Earth. And it's funny to me that this is, like, the worst catastrophe we've ever had. It was just bacteria. But it was still 99% of all life. It's just, like, mind-blowing. But, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. It's not too long of an episode this time. It was a lot of information, but I hope it wasn't too complicated. I hope I was able to kind of dumb it down a lot from the super uh, scientific-sounding things. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with the Protozoic Eon.